In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a notebook cover for Amazon KDP and how to upload it to Amazon. So in the previous video, I showed you how to do keyword research to find a low competition niche for your Amazon KDP book. And as you can see, we chose the basketball notebook for boys. So first off, we need to use a tool called bookow.com, B-O-O-K-O-W.com. I'm going to go over to the KDP cover template generator and click. And we're going to be creating a six by nine notebook. So we need to hover over and make sure paperback is checked. Under the width, we type six. Height, we type nine. We want this to be 120 pages with white paper. And we're going to place your email address and type it in again. And then click consent to email and click email cover template. And they'll send you the template inside your email. Okay. As you can see, it showed up in my email account. So we'll click. And this right here is to download the PDF file. But in order to download it and upload it to Canva, we need to make sure that we download the PNG file. So we hover over the image, click save. As you can see, it is the PNG file and we'll save that. Canva doesn't accept PDF file, so we'll have to use the PNG file instead. Go ahead and click save. Okay, and we're gonna open that up once it's saved. As you can see right here, it shows that the full size cover image with bleed is 12.520 inches wide by 9.25 inches tall. What we're gonna to need to do is input these numbers inside of Canva and create a custom document size. So I'm inside canva.com and you need to create an account if you don't have one. It is free to create an account. Go to custom size, head over here and choose inches. And we're gonna input the numbers shown on our template. So that was 12.520 wide. So type in 12.520 inches wide by 9.250 inches tall. Click create new design. Okay, now we're gonna upload the template. First of all, let's go up here and save and name it. All right, we're gonna name that basketball notebook cover. Go over here and file and save it. It auto saves, but just to make sure, we'll save it manually. Now go to the left-hand side and click upload. We're gonna upload media. And we're gonna find our template and upload it. Okay, once it's uploaded, click. And we're gonna drag it to the corner until it snaps in. Go over to the arrow corner button and drag it till it snaps. Now what I do is want to lock this. So go to the top and lock. Now what I do is want to add a color background. So head over to the left-hand side and click elements. Choose this rectangle. We're gonna choose an orange. There we go. Let's go ahead and adjust the color a little bit. That's good. All right, we're gonna put this at the top and drag it down until it snaps. Drag it to the side. There we go. And now we're gonna to go to the top under the transparency and do this about 50%. There we go. That way we can see the template and make sure we don't have any of our text or images outside these orange or pink lines. So I'm gonna use Creative Fabrica, creativefabrica.com for the graphics of our book cover and possibly our book interior. I do have a pro account and for one monthly price, you get to have over 70,000 fonts, unlimited craft resources, almost 4 million graphical assets, as well as free downloads every month. If we scroll down, we can see that they have collections and bundles, which is a really great deal. And you get everything on this website for one low monthly fee. I will have a link in the description down below to Creative Fabrica. It is an affiliate link, so if you purchase, I will get a commission. So let's go to the top and search for basketball. All right, let's scroll down and try and find some artwork that we can use for our book background. Let's go ahead and choose this one. All right, as you can see, commercial and full print on demand usage license is included. So we can click download and it's gonna download a zip file to our computer. Click save. Now over our zip file, we want to right click and click extract all. And you can see we have our extracted zip file. Click it, click it again. And what I'm gonna do is we have our white PNG images right here. I wanna use black PNG images. So I'm gonna go back to Canva on the left hand side and go to uploads, I'm gonna upload media. I'm going to find the basketball set that we just downloaded and I want the black PNG files. I'm going to copy all these by highlighting the whole entire group of images and then click open. Okay, now all of our images have uploaded. As you can see, they're all black. And what I want to begin to do is place these images throughout the book cover. I want to rotate and just mix and match. Make sure none of the images go across this orange or pink border because that's the bleed margin. So I'm going to add these to the area. I'm gonna add images all around. And what I'm also gonna do is click on these. We'll lower the transparency to about 50, so it's not completely black. All right, now I wanna add some text. And for this, I want to upload a custom font. So back into Creative Fabrica, I'm gonna type in basketball font. All right, let's choose this basketball mania one. You can see it's commercial and full print on demand usage license. Click download. So if you don't have Canva Pro, you're not gonna be able to upload custom fonts. So let's go to the side and click text. You can click here and choose one of these text styles. Let's click here and ungroup. I'm gonna move this over here. Type in basketball. Okay, and screw this over and type notebook. Let's go ahead and lower the font size. Go up here to the font size. You can type in your number. 
Let's try 80. Okay, let's type four boys in here. Okay, let's make this a little bigger. All right, and here's a way you can add text. Let's group this by shift clicking and go to the top and click group. Make this smaller. Let me put it right here. Let's click this real quick. Let's make this less transparent. And you can see that you can make text like that just using the free text and font within Canva. However, if you do have Canva Pro, you can upload your own fonts. So go click the font button and go up to edit and go to upload font. And these are the fonts we just downloaded. You can upload the OTF file. Okay, let's go back. Now let's add a heading and we're going to type in basketball. All right, now double click. I'm going to choose that recently added font. There we go. Now I'm going to add a slight curve to this. So I'm going to go to the effects up here. Scroll down and click curve. And we're going to do this at 50. There we go. Now let's copy this by going over the three dots. Click and duplicate. There we go. Move it down. Double click and type in notebook. Okay. Now let's go ahead and duplicate that again. Type in four boys. Okay. Let's shift click and group. Let's make this a little bigger. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to start adding the images that I downloaded from Creative Fabrica. So in uploads, you can simply drag, shrink down, and we can go down here and zoom, make this smaller, and we can also turn. Again, make sure the images don't cross this dark line. I'm going to lower the opacity by 250%. There we go. I'm going to add this picture as well. Make this a little bigger, and I'm going to put it in the middle. There we go. Go down here under the zoom and click fit. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add images and populate them and make them bigger or smaller and flip them if I have to, like flip them horizontally or vertically. Pretty much I'm going to make a basketball themed pattern along the whole book. So I'll be right back once it's all finished. Okay, so here we have our finished design. As you can see, I've took the transparency down on the background so it's an orange color. I've placed the different images across to create a pattern. And of course the opacity is lowered on these to 50%. And then our text is straight black so it stands out better. Okay, so next what I want to do is I want to add a spine. Let's go to Elements and choose a square. Choose black and want to I'm going to make this a little bit transparent as well so we can see. And we go up. Let's uh, zoom in. All right, we want that right in the middle of the spine. Okay. All right. And make sure that when you move this, you see that pink line. I mean, it's in the middle. All right. And we zoomed out. So now let's go to the transparency and make it black again. Now I'm going to re-add in the images across the whole entire book cover. All right. Here we go. This is our completed image with our colored spine, our custom text, and our basketball images placed as a pattern around the book cover. Now what we're going to do is go to the top and click download. And we want to download this as a PDF print file. So click PDF print and then choose download. All right, next one, I'll go to Amazon KDP. So type in Amazon KDP. Then we'll click on the self-publishing Amazon KDP website. And what you want to do is you want to create an account. If you don't already have one, you can click here by, to sign up. You can also sign in with your Amazon account. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to click sign in. Okay. And if you see a warning right here that says that you need to add additional information, just click on here and follow the steps. You're going to need to add your bank account information so Amazon can pay you once you make sales. But for now, let's go over and create a new title. And we want to create a paperback. All right, next we want to choose our language. So whatever language you want, there's a drop down menu. For our book title, it needs a match, which is exactly on the book and vice versa. So whatever your book title is, it needs to be placed on the book cover or the book spine. And it also has to be your title for your book inside of KDP. There we go. So basketball notebook for boys is in the title. For subtitle, we want to place and just add more details to give the buyer or customer more information as to why they need to choose our notebook. Okay. And it's important to note that for the book title, just keep it simple. So just the book title, nothing else. And for the subtitle, you want to make sure you just add additional information and make sure you don't place the book size. So this is a six by nine inch notebook. Amazon already knows the book size, so don't have to worry about that. Scroll down and there's not a series, so don't worry about that. The edition number, you don't know anywhere about this either. Here's the author section. So you can place your primary name, your main name, or pen names are allowed. So I'm going to place my pen name inside here. Okay, there we go. Pinnacle Publishing. And the contributors are anyone that helped you write or design the book. You can place those here. And you can add more and more as you go by clicking the Add Another button. For description, you want to add more additional information about your notebook or book. So I'm going to place the information in right now. All right. For the description, you can place in the size and how many pages it is. This is 120 page. And you can also tell the customer 
who this book is for. So I put brothers, nephews, and sons. And you can also tell them that your notebook will make a great gift for Christmas or birthdays. Let's scroll down to publishing rights. And you need to make sure that you own the copyright or hold the necessary publishing rights to whatever you publish. So make sure this is clicked and make sure you understand what publishing rights are. For the seven keywords, these aren't as important as the title and subtitle. However, we should add words that aren't in the subtitle or title or description. And these just help the customer search and find your notebook. So I'm gonna pause the video and I'm going to place additional keywords in here. Okay, so I added some color information. So the cover is black, brown, and orange. It has to do with player, sports, and teams. And you don't have to fill out every one of these. Just make sure you try and add words and keywords that you haven't already used in your title, subtitle, or description. Next, I'm going to scroll down and choose a category. And this would be nonfiction. So I'll scroll down to sports and recreation. Choose basketball. And pretty much how you want to categorize your book, because there's no notebook or journal category within Amazon, is you want to categorize it by the niche or hobby that it's based on. In this case, it's sports and basketball. As you can see, it's in nonfiction, sports and recreation and basketball. Click save. And now you want to place yes or no if this book contains language, situations, or images inappropriate for children under 18 years of age. And no. Click save and continue. Okay, now Amazon telling you that you need to have an ISBN, and you can get a free one from Amazon. Just click the Assign Me a Free KDP ISBN. This warning box will pop up saying that you can only use the ISBN assigned to you on Amazon KDP. If you want to sell your book other places on other websites, you need to purchase your own ISBN numbers. So click Assign ISBN. There you go. That is right now. Scroll down, and you can choose the Live on Amazon date for the publication date. Okay, for print options, we can keep it at the black and white interior with white paper. And you scroll down. As you can see, our 6 by 9 inch book is listed, and they've already recognized that this is the size, so we don't need to choose a different size. Bleed settings. So whenever you have text or images or any elements that go to the very edge, you're going to want to use bleed. So since the interior of this book is going to be have lined paper, the lines are going to go all the way to the edge, we're going to choose bleed. Now for notebooks, unless your cover is all black, I'm going to choose matte. Okay, now the manuscript is the interior of your book. So we're going to skip that for a second. We're going to do this in the next video. For now, we need to upload the cover. So I'll choose the upload a cover you already have, print ready PDF style. Click the upload cover. Choose the PDF we downloaded. Okay. If you're not supplying your own barcode, then you leave this blank because Amazon will just add their own for you. So you can keep this unchecked. Okay, the cover was uploaded successfully. Here's a preview. And we can scroll down and click save and continue. And the bottom gives us this warning message. Please preview and approve your book. Okay, now in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to upload the manuscript or the interior of the book. And we'll create that in Canva. So for now, we have to save this as a draft. So it's save it in Amazon. There we go. We're going to scroll away to the top. Click the Kindle logo. And to start back up from where we left off, click sign in. Scroll down and your book will be right here. And choose the continue next step. And we scroll down, save and continue. Okay, and this is where we will start back up in the next video to upload our interior. With that said, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.